It's Mike Adam. This is your Odyssey check-in. I am here with IM of Monster X. So good to see you, man. We have so many things to uh, celebrate right now. The first thing we have to talk about is the tour. Uh, 17 cities, Europe, US, and this is your first time headlining solo. I mean, are you nervous? You're doing it by yourself. Well, um, the biggest emotion is what I'm feeling right now. I think it's excitement because, as you said, it's my first time having a tour as a solo. So, yeah. What are like the the pros and cons from not having the guys around? I imagine they're your support system in some situations, but do you have more freedom now that it's just you? Um. Well, um, I like the both side what I'm doing as a solo and as a team, but I'm kind of like worried about it, like. I'm not really that like talkative or like I'm not really good at talking, but you know the other members are really talkative and they talk really good. But I'm not really like that guy, so I'm just worried about that point. Just a simple thing. Yeah. What What's been the um hardest part about bringing this tour together, like the preparation for it? It wasn't that difficult to plan this tour because I've wanted. This so so much was the um the like workouts the choreography all that stuff you were used to it there was nothing really different right um it comes to me really naturally but every single time when i do that um it's hard but i've done it for like almost a decade so it's not really that yeah difficult do you have any uh, surprises lined up for you, uh, us? Are you hoping to to bring out, you know, maybe some of the guys or any other K-pop acts or Western artists? <laughs> well, um, I'm planning all the songs in live with instrumentals, with lots of nice guys. So I yep. think that will give you some surprise. So let's talk about the um, third solo EP, which is, Crazy. Um, one of the common themes throughout the project is like going against the grain and going against the the regular. Um, so I wanted to know: Do you feel like in your life you've done that yourself? Kind of paved your own path in certain ways. This album, I think I was trying to like contain my natural vibe and my really like my personality. So. I think it really came out really easy and naturally. And it wasn't that difficult because music, to me, I try to like memo the moment what I'm feeling right now. So I, maybe I was feeling like the song what I wrote. I know your father, he was a scientist for a while at Harvard in Boston. Um, so going back to the last question, I mean, did he ever want you to kind of following his footsteps or was he always like yeah go do the music thing uh when i was <clears throat> like middle school or high school i was trying to follow his footsteps but i realized this is not my way <laughs> i wasn't that talented at, like studying in silent science and mathematic or something um i realized oh i'm good at music and did he fully support that did you have the the support of your family yeah, of course. He always said, like, I support you, but the responsibility is from you. I love that. I love that. What At what point do you feel like your family, like, it kind of clicked for them where they were like, oh, he's he's done it. He's achieved re real success. Like, was it at one of your shows? They attended a show or an award ceremony. When did it click for them that you made it? Well, we didn't make... Uh like super hit when we just debuted but the process i think they it yeah gave my family some kind of like oh he's doing good he's doing great yeah i love that i know um as a, a youngster as a child you kind of moved around a good amount uh what do you consider really like home base for you well the experience when I was living in Israel and Boston, it, I think it really helped me to think wise. And I 
believe lots of experience gives me lots of inspiration and gives helps to my personality. Do do you like gravitate towards one location or the other? Do you like a certain location place more than the other? Ah, uh, well, I love the moment of what I'm just living right now. I think, yeah, I would like to see it like that. Yeah. How important is it to you to um put out English language material? Like, how important is it to you to incorporate English in your music? Is that something you always are like? Oh, I need to do this many songs that are in English. Like, how important is that to you as an artist, and why? Uh, well, I don't really like decide. Oh, this song has to be English, or this song has to be full of like Korean. It the language is just a like choice to me. It comes out really naturally. Maybe like some kind of vibe that you can like express in English to me is more easier. So I choose it by the situation. Yeah. Oh, I love that. So there's actually you you legit are like, oh, I feel like I could get my point across better in Korean or in English with this certain song. Right, right, right. Oh, that's cool. So um before we wrap, a couple quick questions. Um, Monster X, you alluded to this a little earlier on. Monster X is about to hit uh 10 years as a group, which is just insane. Um what achievement what milestone as a group are you most proud of up to this point being as a team and heading to the decades that is really really huge to me i love that man because you guys i mean i imagine now you're so close in comparison to when you first started and you really have like bonds with these people now that you're going to carry the rest of your life right and not many people make it to 10 years man that's cool <laughs> thank you <laughs> so uh curveball before we wrap whoever do a subunit what fellow member from monster x would it be with <laughs> every member has their own skill and they're really good and i really respect every member but to me per personally i really love shonu's voice his voice is really unique and sexy and i think when we make a song as a for a unique group maybe it'll be great but don't know the future yeah oh my gosh I, yes you're totally right you two complement each other very well that would be that would be good nice. i am thank you so much man i'm so excited about the tour about the new music you are crushing it thank you for taking out the time Thank you so much for a great interview. Thank you.